century. He was the first man from Wales to be awarded the Victoria Cross during the Second World War and his distinguished legal career saw him become Deputy Lord Chief Justice. Here's Nick Pallett. There was a minute silence and black armbands were worn in honour of Sir Tasker Watkins as Wales opened their World Cup campaign yesterday. As president of the Welsh Rugby Union for 11 years, Sir Tasker Watkins was a man the players greatly respected. All the players loved him. Um, he used to come down to the dressing room on a regular basis and uh, he had the respect of all, all the Welsh players, certainly because of he, what he'd done in his life. And away from the world of rugby, what he'd done was immense. In 1944, as a war hero in northern France, he led an assault against enemy machine guns. His superb gallantry and total disregard for his own safety was responsible for saving the lives of his men and had a decisive influence on the course of the battle. As a result, he was the first Welshman to be awarded the Victoria Cross in the Second World War. When you read the citation, I mean, they don't give Victoria Crosses away for nothing anyway, but when you read the circumstances in which he won it, you just cannot believe that any person could have been quite so brave. He went on to become the most senior judge in England and Wales, acting as deputy to the Attorney General for the tribunal into the 1966 Abavan disaster. Legal colleagues say he had a brilliant mind. He had a command of a courtroom which was um, almost breathtaking on occasions, and lawyers and jurors alike simply felt in awe of him. He was a unique institution and, you know, he survived well into the 21st century, but I think you have to probably say he was one of the outstanding Welshmen of the 20th century. Sir Tasker Watkins, who died yesterday.